sorry. But as soon as a baby baby finishes uh, breastfeeding, do you go back and feed that baby what? Gotten breast milk? No, you don't. So why do you feed that a grown person cow's milk? So when I say all these things, you can drink cow milk. It's not a bad thing for you if you like it, but you just have to know. Vitamin A and vitamin D are put in milk after it comes out of the cow. People didn't know that. Vitamin A and vitamin D does not come out of a cow. It does not come in milk. You have to put that in milk. Oh. Milk is very high in fat, clogs your arteries. It's mucogenic, which means if you have allergies and you have a lot of runny nose and coughs, milk can be mucogenic, meaning it makes you spit very thick. 80% of the world is lactose intolerant. 80% of the world cannot eat dairy or cheese. So when you look at all that, if you don't pasteurize the milk, then it can, be, have, it can have a lot of bacteria and then you can get sick. You have calcium and that's a very good thing. Calcium is good, but there's just as much calcium as a, in a bowl of bro broccoli or a bowl of spinach as there happens to be in a glass of milk. All right? So it's very important that you, if you like milk and you tolerate it well, that's no problem. But if you're trying to lose weight, trying to get your cholesterol down, all these things, you, if you have bad food allergies, you may need to decrease the amount of milk that you're drinking. All right? I think I'm going to have one more. What about yogurt? Yogurt's very good. And the reason why, it's still dairy, but yogurt has things in it that are very good for you, meaning you have probiotics in yogurt. When you buy yogurt, it's going to say you have active cultures. Oh, I love active yogurt. cultures, that means that it's good bacteria that goes into your colon and helps generate other good bacteria so your colon can be balanced. It's very important. Yogurt is, the, to me, the only exception. All right? And it's lower in fat, but do cows drink low fat milk? Just ask them. I'm just, I'm just checking with you. Because if they do, then you do that. <laughs> but if you like milk, I'm not trying to, I look, I, I want you, you look great. You look great. I don't want you to change doing a lot of things you're doing. I just need you to make the decision based on some knowledge. The next time you're about to drink that milk, you'll say, hmm, wow, this might be cow pus I'm drinking. Gross. <laughs> now, Those are carrots bad. good for vision? No. Oh boy, see, we get, we get to mix up now. Carrots are full of beta carotene. That's why they're called carrots, right? But are they good for vision? Yes. Will they improve your vision? No. Okay. That's so why I'm wearing so glasses. I, right. So, so why? Or bunny that, carrots. The, the, whole, the whole concept of milk, I mean, of, of carrots being good for your eyes, was perpetuated a, a milk a long time ago during the war when people were trying to show that the, uh, the, the airline pilots that were fighter pilots were eating lots of carrots, so their vision was better than the other pilots. And, it just, and this was in the 30s, 40s. This was a long time ago. And that, that myth has been perpetuated, perpetuated, perpetuated. It, so is beta carotene good for your vision? Yes. But you'd have to eat a million carrots basically for it to make a difference. And you're not going to eat that much. But if you have bad vision, if you have really bad vision, eating carrots, could it help you slightly? Sure. But if you have great vision and you want your vision better, carrots are not going to help you. All right? Well, I figured um, that. Bugs and, Bunny oh, like carrots. I'm, I'm in with this. This is, oh, no, no, I got two more. Y'all want a couple more? Okay, so, um, turkey. Turkey is full of tryptophan, so when you eat it, you get sleepy after Thanksgiving. I, I, is that true? I guess so. I know everybody gets sleepy after Thanksgiving. Yes. But it's not from the turkey. There's just as much tryptophan in beef. There's just as much tryptophan in other meat. You have to eat 25 turkeys for it to be enough tryptophan for you to go to sleep. The reason why you're falling asleep is because you're eating so much food and you're drinking so much Crown Royal. And Crown Royal isn't paying me for that endorsement. I'm just saying you're drinking too much of it. And that's why you get sleepy and you get tired of your friends and your family because they get on your nerves and you want to go to sleep. Um, that's the other one, and oh, the uh, oh, the fresh versus frozen vegetables. Now I'm gonna end with that one because that's a controversial one. But the issue becomes when you have fresh vegetables. Fresh vegetables are great if picked at the right time and given to you in the right place. But if you have a fresh green bean and they pick it before it's ripe because they gotta truck it in from Cleveland, Ohio to New Orleans. 
then it's picked before it's ripe, it doesn't get all the nutrients, it's sprayed with pesticides, and blah, 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 blah. If you get those same green beans and they're in a can, they're picked at the peak of freshness. Okay. If you get them in frozen, they're picked at the they're picked at the peak of freshness, and then all that is, is is into that vegetable at that time. So if you get that and you eat it, it's not horrible for you. It's really not. And at times it can be better for you than a frozen or I mean a, a fresh or, or or an organic um, fruit or vegetable. And uh, the reason why I throw organic in there is because it's important to realize that if you go to Whole Foods. I mean whole picture. I mean whole food. I'm sorry, whole food. Okay. If you go there and you can only afford a small amount of organic broccoli, but you could go to a regular store and get a week's worth of non-organic broccoli, please get the week's worth of non-organic broccoli because that week's worth of non-organic broccoli is going to do you much better than a little bit of organic broccoli because there's not a lot of regulation on organic or natural people can say whatever they want about organic and natural but there's not really real guidelines for that there's some very mild non-stringent guidelines so you don't really necessarily know that something is, is what that means whether it's organic or not okay so just remember i want you to eat your five fruits and vegetables i want you to do that and i'm gonna throw this one more thing out there for my young people out in in in, in the streets and and, and my my people that are coming here and, and you're going to go home and do the things you need to do. I'm the doctor for the people, Dr. Corey A. Bear. I've been doing this on TV, on the Oprah Winfrey show, on the Elder Generous show. I have a sad segment on Dr. Oz show. So I've been doing this a long time. The issue for me is that I'm trying to save our young black boys in this city. And what I want you to do is I got five rules. So, so you have your grandson, your son, these are the things I need you to do. The first one.